Hello, Royalists, and welcome to Royal Rewind, where we take a look back at the week and catch you up on everything you need to know about the British royal family. This week, Harry and Meghan shock royal watchers as it's announced they're skipping Christmas with the Queen. And the royal family reunite to honor those who gave their lives for their country during remembrance events as the Queen becomes overwhelmed with emotion. I'm Morgan Hoffman, and this is Royal Rewind for the week ending on November 15th. Buckingham Palace confirmed the rumors to be true that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, along with their son Archie, will not spend Christmas with the royal family this year. For more on this, we turn to royal reporter Neil Sean in London. Neil, thanks so much for joining us. So are you surprised to learn that Harry and Meghan are skipping Christmas this year and, and not spending with the royal family? Hi, Morgan. Well, no, I'm not totally surprised. What's interesting, though, is the point of why the two are actually in America for six weeks is not all just getting away from the media. They will be, in fact, filming part of Harry's documentary with Oprah Winfrey. And that, of course, comes out on Apple next year. So this sort of story of them getting away, the stress and all that sort of stuff is not technically totally true. Interesting that you say that. Do you think that the alleged rift between Harry and William has anything to do with this decision? Well, of course, the ongoing rift that Prince Harry spoke about in his recent ITV documentary has a lot to do with the fact that William and Harry have grown apart over the last 18 months. And that certainly does have something to do with them being together at Christmas. As we all know, when you're in a family, things boil over at the festive time of year. It's also known as well that while Kate's tried to reach out to Meghan, Meghan sees herself as somebody far more superior in the sort of wildly worlds sort of uh, public relations and things like that. So technically, I can understand why the two ladies don't really get on. Even though they're the same age bracket, Kate's from the home counties, and of course, Meghan's used to, and I use this term loosely, the Hollywood lifestyle. Well, we must note that this isn't the first time that royals have skipped Christmas with the Queen. Back in 2016, William and Kate actually spent the holidays with Kate's family. But why do you think this situation is a little bit different? Well, that's correct, Morgan. Of course, um, William and Catherine did skip the traditional festive uh, celebration at Sandringham a few years ago, 2016. But this is a totally different scenario because let's just put this into perspective. What you have here is this, uh, Harry, Meghan and baby Archie, it would be the first time as a family they would be at Sandringham. And also when Catherine and William decided to move away and uh, have their own Christmas, that was with the blessing of the Queen. And that was six months in advance. Now we don't know for sure at what point that Harry and Meghan decided they didn't want to spend time in Sandringham this Christmas, but we do know it would have been a shorter period. And I think for the Queen at 93 years old, it would be rather nice for her to spend her very first Christmas with her latest grandchild. Well, we'll just have to see how everything turns out. Thanks so much, Neil. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon. 